Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the layer control expression and also showing off a brand new free preset that's available today. Now, like I had said before, this tutorial is kind of part tutorial and part showing off a preset that uses the techniques that I'm teaching in this tutorial. And I'm talking about the layer control um, you use it with expressions and it's a expression controller and it's called layer control. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we have, we've got a red box, a blue box, and this target. Um, and I'm going to use the layer control. So I'm going to select the target because this is what I'm going to be applying my preset to or my expression to. And I'm going to effect expression controls and then layer control. And when I bring this in here, you see it says layer, and then I can choose which layer. And this is pretty handy, especially when you're doing some presets or some more complex expressions. So for instance, let's take the position. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. It brings up the position. And what I want to do is I want the position of this square to match whatever layer I select in here. And how to do that is with an expression. So I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on the keyboard. Click on the stopwatch, and then I'm going to use this pick whip to pick whip this layer. So it says effect layer control layer, and then I hit dot or a period, and then just type position. And then what that does is it will match the position of this layer to whatever I select. Right now it's selected at target, but if I go to red, see, it moves it to the red. Go to blue, moves it to the blue. So pretty handy. So another thing I can do with this, let's change the color. This is a little bit more complex. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial down into the contents of the shape layer, find the fill, and then do the same thing for this target layer. And there it is right there. So let's do another expression. So Option or Alt, click on the stopwatch. And then let's grab the pick whip, select it to the color. And what that does is it's going to it's just going to turn it red, but I don't want it to be red all the time. I want it to be depending on this layer. So if I look at this expression, it says this comp dot layer red dot content. So this first part, this comp dot layer uh, red, that is the name of this layer. So I want to replace this part, everything before the period content, and then pick whip my layer control. And then what that does, let's see what happens. Click on red and move there and it changed the color to red. Changed it to blue. That's pretty neat. So what I can do with this is because this layer control is set to target, when I duplicate this, so let's duplicate this target a couple of times and let's just move them so they're in different spots. Now when I select this original target, the first one, not the duplicates, I can come in here and they're all going to move like they're together. And so that's what I used in my new expression. I call it the repeater. Now, something I really love about the shape layers is the repeater in them. So let's come into here. Here's my contents. I'm going to add a repeater to the shape layer. And what it does is it repeats it. So let's come into the transform, and you can see there's several of them. I can change the rotation, the offset, how many I have, and that's really cool, but it's only for shape layers. Now, if I wanted to use this on, say, you know, a picture or something that wasn't a shape layer, I can't because this repeater is built into the shape layers. And so this is where the preset comes in. So I call this preset the repeater. And what it is, is it's basically the repeater, but for things that aren't in shape layers. Now, I actually have this happen to be on a shape layer, but that's beside the point. So let me show how it works. This is just a preset. You apply it. And I can come in here, and there it is. It's called the repeater. And so that's the custom effect. And then there's also just one more filter in here called transform. And it works the same way. So I can come in here, and I can change the position. It's not going to do anything because what I have to do is I actually have to 
repeat things. And this is where this layer control, you can see layer control is set to shape layer one. And if I take this layer and then duplicate it, and then I go back to that original first layer, now I can change the position and I've got repeated layers. I can change the rotation just like that. And it works just like the repeater does in the shape layers, but it can be applied to any layer. So that is the repeater. It's available now and it uses this thing that we just learned, the control layer. So what I want you to do is I want you to download this, it's free. Um, or it's a pay what you want. So if you feel like donating some money over to the store, that would be great. I'd be much appreciative. But if not, just download it for free and check it out. Go ahead and look at the, the code and the expressions in there and feel free to dissect it and see what I did with it. Again, it's using this control layer. Um, that's the same effect that we just talked about. And it wouldn't be able to do all this unless it had that control layer. So just again, to show you how this works, so let's go in to the repeater. I'm going to duplicate this several times, select my original first layer, and I can start changing the position or the scale or the opacity or the rotation. And it's a pretty cool thing. That is the repeater. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click on the link in the description. It'll take you where you can download this preset. It's over at cinemaspice.net. Presets built for After Effects Creative Cloud users. So Creative Cloud CC version 2013 and 2014. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.